Hey all duckies, Andy Lippy here. How the devil are we today? So I'm back with another OBS tutorial. This one looking again at another plugin. This is how to do freeze frames live in OBS. Before we get into it, make sure you do subscribe. Press the like button if I have helped you. And if you've got any questions or anything that I can help you out with, please let me know below. Come and check me on a live stream as well if you want to just chat face to face. Well, face to face, kind of. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Andy Lippy. Right, let's get on with it. It's quite simple what we need to do. Just download a plugin like we've done in the other videos if you've seen them. If you haven't, definitely go and check out the Stream Aid playlist. There's loads of advanced tips for OBS. You'll be able to see that up in this top right, uh, top left, right corner. Yeah, that one. Don't know my left and rights. But let's get into it. All these links are going to be below, but we're going to be downloading the replay source. So you want to hit download on that. And you'll see it will appear down in the bottom left just here. So we need to open it. And then we need to find the folder that we need to install it to. So I'm just going to open the second downloads folder here, go to this PC, bootcamp, program files, uh, H6, we've got OBS Studio, and then you can see you've got your bin, your data, and your OBS plugins. All you need to do is navigate to OBS plugins, 64, copy them, paste them in. So mine are already there, so it's going to ask me to, to replace the file, so I'm just going to ignore that for now. And that's it, you've got the plugin installed. Uh, I'm going to now show you what happens inside of OBS. So if we pull up OBS just here. Alright, so once we are in OBS, all you need to do is press the plus sign, add a replay input. If you're not seeing that there, just wait until the end of the video and I'll show you what you can do to try and bring that there, okay? So this is the one that I've got set up here. I've got a sound clip and also in this moment. So this is my replay source. These are the settings that you need for it to do a freeze frame, okay? So I'm using my game cam. You can use anything. You could use the, the capture card or your desktop, anything that you want to freeze frame. I give it 50 milliseconds because that kind of gives it a little bit of leeway because um, I found if I put it on one millisecond, it does the freeze frame instantly, but it kind of crashes a little bit on my computer. So just tinker with that setting a little bit. Uh, maximum number of replays, it'll only play once. When it's visible, so that's when you swap to this scene, it will restart that that screenshot. So because you're taking the screenshot, it will restart it straight into there. Your start delay, you want it to happen instantly, so you put zero, and then you want to end action, pause after single playthrough. Okay, so that's the settings you want just there, and then you want to go into your settings in file, and you want to go to hotkeys. Um, on here, we want to scroll all the way down, so I've got in this moment, that is the, the scene that I'm using, that I've set up for this freeze frame. You want to switch that scene and give it a shortcut. Okay, so I've used control and the numpad um, multiply button. And then further down, we need to set the same shortcut up for the source, which I've got, it should be at in this moment. You'll be able to tell which one it is, because look how big it is there. In this moment, there's so many different things that you can do. And you want to set that same shortcut to load replay. And that's it. So I'm just going to take this out of studio mode for one second. So you'll be able to see what happens. So if I'm just sat here and I now switch to in this moment scene, which is my freeze frame, it goes a little bit like this. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. So super simple to use. I mean, if you do struggle, let me know below, okay? Now I'm going to show you what, what happens if you have not got it working, okay? We're gonna uh, open up my files. I've already downloaded it, I'll put the links below. You need to make sure that you've got the um, redistributables for, um, what's it called, bloody hell, my, my mind's absolutely gone. So either the 32-bit or the 64-bit of uh, Visual Studio 2019. So you just wanna open which one it is. It'll ask you to just, mine's obviously installed, so it's asking me to repair it, but run through that installation process, restart your computer, go back into OBS, and you should see the replay input just there. Okay, it is literally that easy to set up. It looks great, there's so many different uses for it. Uh, I, I've got a couple of ideas. I wanna see your ideas as well, so if you do come up with something, let me know, uh, and I'd love to come and check out your stream as well. Okay, so make sure you do press that like button on this video if it has helped you. Also subscribe, it'll mean the world to me. Put your rock with the stone, guys. I'll see you in the next one, bros.